Darling, you. Have you been feeling tired or anxious lately? Maybe you need something entertaining to come home to. With Dipsy, you can focus on what makes you feel good and satisfied. We all have our needs, you know, we gotta get our needs met. There's no shame in that. Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short, hot audio stories designed by women for women. New content is released every week, so in between listening to your favorite stories again and again, you can always find something new to explore. Dipsy also has sleep stories, wellness sessions, and now they also offer written stories. You can hear the soothing voices of Saruna's Jay Jackson, ER Fightmaster, Luke Cook, and many others in stories like you've never heard before. For listeners of Intoxicated, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash talk. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories.com slash talk. Again, that's dipsystories.com slash talk. Go check it out. Hey, Kelcats, welcome back to another episode of Intoxicated. I'm your host, Kelsey Davies, and I am here with a very special guest. We got here Pete Montzingo. Did I Yay. say your last name right? You actually did. Perfectly. Did I? Yes. And, okay. and that, is, that does not happen. So. Does it? No. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. I, my listeners and uh, followers, they know that I'm horrible at pronouncing things. Like, oh, horrible. really? Yeah, I'm a horrible. I, yeah. If you guys have been following this for a while, you know I'm very bad at uh, pronouncing things. But <laughs> well, you nailed it, Montzingo. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So Pete is a TikToker, YouTuber, singer. What else do you do? You do a lot of things. Multi-talented. Um, dabbing into paranormal a little bit. Yes. Um, even though I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but now I know more because we're friends. Um, and let's see what else. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and author. No. And author. <laughs> Wait, where's the shout? Where's the book? Oh, well, after the break. Okay, the break. <laughs> I don't know where I put book. it. <laughs> Wait. It's oh probably my God. downstairs. I lost my phone, too. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, well, before we get into this, what is your intoxicated choice of the night? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Pete is holding up the marijuana pillow that I got at Urban Outfitters. It's very cute little weed pillow that we love. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, it just helps me like chill. Yeah. My ADHD is so bad. Right. You know, weed um, has so many benefits. Yeah. So, so yeah. Put that. I feel that. Yeah. I just had to put that out there, dude. Weed just helps with a lot of things. It's very beneficial in so many ways. You guys know I like dig into weed on this podcast. Woo. I'm a big weed advocate. It's just helped my mental health and yeah. just a lot anxiety and you know, like being doing what we do. It's a lot of anxiety and a lot of pressure, mm-hmm. and it's nice to have something to just lean off that pressure something that's not like as strong as alcohol because alcohol is just a lot it's yeah too much for me yeah same and i don't get like creative i get like maybe more confident yeah yeah for sure Fake confidence but still feels great but like yeah yeah i feel that so we are smoking a hybrid it is from alien labs i was also gonna bring that up did i bring it up Oh, I did bring that up. Look at me go. Priorities. Priorities. I didn't bring my phone with everything we're supposed to be talking about, but I did (laughs) bring the weed up. (laughs) I made sure that I brought the weed up, and this is Alien Lab. Sponsor me. Um, We would love to have a weed sponsor on this podcast, so if anyone knows some weed people who would like to you know, get some shout outs and for guests and I to smoke it and try it and give our honest opinion, like... We'll try it. We'll do it. We're, uh, Pete will come over every day just, just to, to try different <laughs> strains. Just to try these strains. All right, I'm going to grab my phone. Oh my oh, God. I got it. Yep. <gasps> Pete is a savior. Wait, I also had articles though. Oh, yeah, I get your <laughs> I did. Well, I tried. <laughs> Pete tried. Pete is running downstairs because he has a very special announcement. And I'm excited to hear it too. Run, Pete, run. Up the spiral staircase that might also be a portal. Oh no. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yeah. I'm inspired by that now. We love actually. that. <laughs> portals. All right. And speaking Pete. of portals, um, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but um, I wrote a children's book. So it's not out yet, but you know, Kelsey was like, Do you have anything you want to talk about? And I know it's called the Intoxication. Mm. In- but, intoxicated. Yeah, intoxicated. Um, you know, but. You know, why not? So, you know, it'll be out soon. I just, I'm really excited about it and I just wanted to share and that's and, it. And Doesn't what's the name of it uh, for the people listening? Oh, it's 
called Little Imperfections. Ooh, written by Pete Montzingo. Yay! That's amazing. You wrote a freaking book. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, you know, pictures. It's my mom right here, you know, and like. Wait, that's amazing. Yeah, and it's like, you know, growing up, and if you feel different, like. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. No, I love this. You know, like I would sneak out, you know, the high window where she couldn't reach. And, you know, it's just, oh, it's kind of gosh. like a, you know, a little bit of a life story, but also hopefully people will feel inspired and like, like they're. You know, if they feel different, they know it's actually like a good thing. Right. Do you want to talk a little bit about like your family for yeah. uh, intoxicated listeners who just met you? Yes. So um, my whole family are little people except me. So a lot of my content, like I do a little bit of a lot on my on my channels, but um, uh, like one consistent thing is I feature my family a lot. So my mom. Um, Anything that you might know of me and her would be probably I would sound effect my mom with a trom trombone, so I'd be behind her and she would do something. Um, and yeah, I mean, like I did so so much of that, but she literally like threatened me. Um, so she's like, if you ever do that again, <laughs> <laughs> never like, do she's that again. Hit me. Yeah, she's gonna like hit me with the slide, like oh, the trombone no, slide. Oh no, not the yeah. slide. <laughs> and when she hits, it hits in the wrong places for guys. So, oh no. Um, I gotta take her a little seriously. Yeah, yeah, you do. Oh, your mom seems so sweet. I always she is. see. I always see your TikToks and you're just it's so clever. Like your TikToks, they're they're very comedic, clever, just like funny. It's things you don't even think about. You know, like being your height with people who are smaller you know what I mean like it's right. just so it's such a different life that you don't think about yeah yeah and it's cool that you're able to share that with people and people who do feel different in their family people who do feel like you know like they don't fit quite with their family exactly or even just in life you know maybe you're at school and you're like oh like you know no one gets me or whatever um, it's like everyone feels different in some way but the cool thing is like when you realize that what you think your weaknesses are, are actually your strengths that's when you start winning, you know? Yes, and you do. That's kind of like, you know, a, what I feel like I want my videos to portray in the book and, you know. I love that. Good um, energy. I feel that. I'm like, I feel that so deeply because I never fit in. I was always super artsy. I was yeah. like, loved anime. I'm wearing a Spirited Away shirt, by the way, with no face. So Spirited Away, I grew up watching it. Um, I didn't understand why I liked it so much until I got a little older and uh, started seeing dead people. So that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> like I saw them when I was little, but it just got more profound to the point where I couldn't ignore it when I got older. So like me watching like Beetlejuice and all these spiritual movies, it all makes sense now. They were my I was weird. Like I was wow. a really weird kid. Do you remember your very first <laughs> ghost like experience when you saw a dead person? Yes, so I would always see my uh, deceased grandpa with me, mm. and he died before I was born, so I never got to meet him. I have talked about him, Lenny, on this podcast, and it, it was just this br uh, man in a brown suit that I would see in glasses and uh, with a silver watch. Mm. And I, I remember calling my grandpa and explaining this man to me because I knew it was his dad. I just knew it. Mm. And everything I explained was spot on. He had the glasses, the watch. Like I found, a, uh, or my mom, we like talked to her cousin and she had all these family photos of people and I pointed them out right away. And I was like, that's Whoa. him. Yeah, so I knew him right away. And another experience I remember that I was terrified of was on the Queen Mary when I was little. That was actually one of my first ghost experiences when I was like seven, because my grandpa sailed on it um, from... Uh, England, I think, to New York. So we sailed on the Queen Mary when he was eight years old. So we took him back on the ship and I was like seven or eight. And I remember seeing this floating like ghost woman in a white dress down this hallway coming towards me. Wait, that's what they say that you see too, right? Is it? I think so. Like in like that one strip where there's like a big hallway. Yeah, it was in, in a hallway. Yeah. yeah. And I was by myself. My parents were around the corner watching this like video about the Titanic or something. They had like an exhibit for the Titanic going on back then there. It was, really? It was dope. We got to go I'd to Queen scared, Mary when it opens. But like, I would never want to be sailing on the Queen Mary or, you know, right. on the he ship. He was like, I didn't see any ghosts, blah, blah, blah. He was like, I was eight years old. But I was like, that's probably before it was like really haunted me. I don't know yeah. when that was. But so Pete lives across from the Cecil Hotel. Just got to add that in there, which is one of the okay. most haunted places that I have ever been to personally. Oof. 
What's it like just living across? Like we did do a video on this, but I want to get like your your high perspective of what okay. what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> day to day. <sighs> okay, let me go from the start. So I did not know that the Hotel Cecil, I didn't even know anything about it actually um, until I had my housewarming party. And so I moved in and I always kind of felt weird energy from the other side of the street. You know, like I would, I'd, my roommate had a dog, I would like walk the dog, but I intentionally would walk it on the other side of the street because I was just like, there's something weird about that. Um, and then during my housewarming party, when my friends were like, "You, why are you living here? This is insane. <laughs> um, <laughs> And I was like, why? And then that kind of started the rabbit hole. Could um, you imagine just like getting all excited about your apartment all of a sudden your friends yeah. were like, bro, like people die there. That is like a fucking scary ass spot yeah. that you live across. Like I can't even imagine. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> and it was like closed when I moved in. And so I like, that's part of why I moved Wait, there. Wait, was it after Elisa Lamb had been? Yeah, it was, it was after it closed in 2017. When um, did you move in? like 2018 2019 so it was like right after yeah after yeah right after like it had shut down that gives but, me chills. but at least a lamb happened in uh 2012 or right or 2013 or something. i don't know um yeah but it was close like that's just scary yeah yeah exactly but that happened across the street and like you can go up to my roof and like see the water towers where you know they found her body and it's just it's it's a lot for sure. Um, especially when, you know, people come over and hang out, they always are just like, eh. And now I have like telescopes, you know, and binoculars, yeah. which she saw. No, you've made like content out of it, which is like, yeah. why not? <laughs> right. And like, I've always been really intrigued. Like growing up, I grew up in Seattle and we like, I would all go to this like haunted bridge with my friends and stuff. And that's like, where it starts. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, had some like weird experiences there. And then like, sometimes I get them, um, but like for the Hotel Cecil, I, it, it was really just, I would see things across the street and no one was there. Right. So I would see like this old man, like on the balcony, but no one's supposed to be there. And I would see like a figure of what looked like this guy hanging, um, behind the curtains and like, it didn't make any sense. You know, windows were opening and shutting and doors and, um, it, it just the whole entire experience. I mean, I felt like I was going crazy. Yeah. So that's part of why I decided to even make content about it. Right, right. Because I'm like, if other people can catch this too, then it I... validates what you're <laughs> exactly. seeing to make you feel less crazy my entire life. <laughs> like, right. Yes. Yeah. Literally, this is why I do a lot of the paranormal investigating and stuff is because I want to validate like, I'm not crazy, guys. Like, look, <laughs> it's right there in front of you. Like, literally, I'll see a ghost there. I'll put a flashlight there and be like, turn it on. Beep, turns on just like stuff like that i'm like yes <laughs> they Holy got my shit. back homies got my back but then sometimes i'll see them and then they'll just dip and like not use the equipment i'm like people are gonna think i'm insane whenever she talks about an experience with a ghost i think about that face that you always make on your videos this one Yes! <laughs> the iconic face. That's so good. <laughs> it's on my TikTok. Um, it's my ghost encounter videos. If you guys have just check them out. Like they're a good time. I get really high before I make those too, to be really? honest. Yes. I have to be like a little bit high to make those because they're real ghost experiences that I've had, but I just kind of make them like into something light because it's something that is like kind of scary and I just heard something in the corner. Yeah. My house is haunted too. Oh, just right now. Yeah. It was like right over there. But yeah, my house is a little bit haunted. So there are actually catacombs <laughs> underneath, um, like where they found 36 human remains. Yeah. Is that why you moved here? I didn't even know it was haunted. I just moved in and then I was greeted by this ghost lady and I was like, here we go. <laughs> like Pauline, that's the one. Um, she's in a black dress. Oh, she's yes. actually standing right there. <laughs> wow so yeah pauline's chilling she's she's a vibe she just kind of always comes in when i'm doing my podcast don't know why she's a fan she wants to listen she's a fan maybe i think this is kind of her space up here i think there's like some sort of portal up here it's just a different energy i always feel mm. when i come up those stairs i feel almost like i don't know like a weird lightheadedness it's kind of mm. strange. I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> on last week's episode of Intoxicated, we ended talking about dinosaurs. <laughs> we're getting into dinosaurs. Okay, we're okay? going there. <laughs> we're going 
into Hell it. Yeah. Dude, I love dinosaurs. Like, yeah. they're so cool. I have a shirt that says dinosaurs. Oh, I, I love that. I Did you ever see that movie, We're Back? No. I think it was like a dinosaur movie. I think it was like... Am I like a disgrace to dinosaur well, lovers? Because I, I haven't seen it? <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> no, I think... I mean, I don't even know if it was like that great. I mean, I just oh. remember watching it. It was like an old 90s movie or something. Oh, okay. If anyone's seen that movie, comment below. Because like, I feel like I need to see this. I did watch Dinosaur by Disney. Was it dinosaur? Oh, that sounds familiar. It was like with the eggs. I remember they would step on the eggs and like there was like, <laughs> you know, you remember so little details. <laughs> you remember yeah, true. Tiny details in the movies that like were satisfying. You know what I mean? Like, like I remember like certain things that like satisfied me when I would watch movies just internally. I was like, wow, that was a really great opening of the drawer. Yeah, I'm trying to think of one. I'm like, it doesn't, simple, is but... that normal or is that just me? <laughs> I think so. Oh. <laughs> I think it might. Maybe it's like an OCD thing or something. <laughs> I'm all talking about it like it's fucking normal. I mean, it probably is. I'll probably leave and be like, text you and be like, oh, yeah, yeah I know what you're I know talking what you're about talking. now. <laughs> okay, that makes me feel a lot better, Pete. It makes mm -hmm. me feel so much better. Okay, we're going into dinosaurs now, okay? Dinosaurs. All right, what happened to the dinosaurs? For over a century, paleontologists have been puzzling over the fate of our favorite prehistoric oddities. So there's like a lot of conspiracies about dinosaurs and what actually happened to them. What do you think happened to dinosaurs? <sighs> wow. Um, ooh, I feel like... We're, I, we're digging deep. I know. I, I just, I don't know if I just, I just don't know if I buy the meteor story. And I know there's Got probably, you. yeah, yeah. There's probably scientific evidence. I haven't like dug deep, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, Archaeologist. But wait, are you like, is it a thing to see like spirit animals, right? Yeah, yeah. Are spirit there ever animals. spirit animal dinosaurs. dinosaurs? I've never seen a ghost dinosaur, I'll be honest. I've, that would be. <laughs> I've seen awesome. a ghost bird, a ghost horse, I think a ghost cow one time. And dogs and cats all the time, but I have not seen a ghost dinosaur. Interesting. I don't know if that means like they just didn't have like I don't know that energy that I don't have. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know because it, I don't know. It, it, and then it makes you wonder because technically dinosaur like some species are still here like yeah, tortoises yeah. right and stuff. right yeah but they're just like little they're not yeah. damaging to humans or whatever you know like right. they're not gonna kill us right yeah so I, I don't know i just feel like i feel like there's more that we don't know yeah there's definitely like i'm reading this luna's just rubbing on me hi honey she's so cute um so this I'm on Smithsonian Magazine, okay? These are their theories. So one theory is that um, they, the fearsome Tyrannosaurus probably got their first impulse towards gigantism on a diet of sauropod eggs. So I guess they were egg-hungry dinosaurs and they eventually ate all their eggs, like, and it, like, oh. caused extinction, like they ate all the eggs so there were no more dinosaurs born oh interesting so it caused a mass extinction because they would eat everyone's eggs like what a dick like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, kind of dinosaur yeah like, like what kind of dinosaur would walk around and like yo i'm gonna eat your egg your <laughs> child like what the this hell is now what is wrong with this dinosaur that's i, I mean who I guess hurt you sense. who did yeah. it who hurt you <laughs> you know it was those raptors oh yeah the raptors it said tyrannosaurus so oh, they're kind of yeah. guilty here yeah. wow to all tyrannosaurus rexes like fuck you god damn <laughs> <laughs> there's also pathological shells um i don't know like okay let's see i'm gonna read into this here it's so hard to read while you're high it's i just, know it's... and to comprehend while you're high <laughs> you have to comp sometimes i just read and i forget what i just read 
Are you feeling a little anxious and overwhelmed? These feelings can make it hard to shift gears and get into the mood. With Dipsy, you can focus just on what makes you feel good. Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women. They bring scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes and characters, no matter who you're into or what turns you on. Find stories about that intriguing coworker with a British accent or hooking up with your hot yoga instructor. New content is released every week, so in between listening to your favorite stories, stories again and again, you can always find something new to explore. Dipsy also has sleep stories, wellness sessions, and now they also offer written stories. For listeners of Intoxicated, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com talk. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to dipsy, D-I-P-S-E-A, stories.com talk. Again, that's dipsystories.com talk. Hurry and go check it out. In a 1979 paper, the researchers reported that fossilized dinosaur eggshell fragments found in southern France and the Spanish Pyrenees showed two sorts of disorders. Some had multiple shell layers, while others were pathologically thin. Oh, so either situation was lethal. So they think that multi-layered eggs would have suffocated a lot of the dinosaurs. And then they think the too thin of eggs would have like caused, you know like lack of development and things like that so it seems like wait and so this was just like through evolution i don't know it's like a theory i guess like i guess they have some uh evidence of shells that were double layered or shells that were single layered that Mm. caused the embryos to get you know suffocated not enough air or just like not enough protection around it Mm, gotcha so that's a good theory i mean if they have like proof of it but i don't know if it would have caused a mass extinction or if it was just like those eggs yeah or maybe you know like the universe or god or whatever you believe in it's just like all right Enough of that. Right, like, let's literally. have the meat in their eggs. Let's get the meteor. Let's just, what What yeah, else can we do? Yeah, exactly. Like, what What was the reason, you know? I, I mean, I guess for us, but that's, like, selfish. Well, do you think that the, <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you think that there's, like, some remote island that we don't know about? Like, really tiny out there? I mean, maybe with, not like, now. some dinosaurs? GPS, but, yeah, with just, like... Maybe. something left it's know? not far-fetched because then we just find like an old amazon village like 10 years ago really yeah and it's like wow it's it was like 2012 it was like that's kind of like a long time yeah that's like so and, and there's so much undiscovered like in our oceans and stuff like that yeah. it's just in even islands there's <laughs> a lot of islands that are undiscovered too that we don't know about and it's like what if they have like these giant dinosaurs <gasps> What do you have? Pete's all excited about something. I'm going to um, uh, Italy (gasps) next week. And there's this island that I'm trying to go to that is that. um, I'm about to be so jealous. (laughs) I know. I'll let you know if it's cool or not. Um, I'm I'm trying to zoom up on what exactly it's called. But it's right outside of Venice. And apparently, like, no one's allowed there because there were a lot of there's like like ch- like souls of children <gasps> that are just on the island and like so they don't let children. yeah and they don't let oh like God. they don't let anyone do anything on the island they're like just remains and people can't go so i'm gonna try and break in <laughs> let me know how that goes because like and you better make a bomb ass youtube yeah. video of it because i'm gonna watch it i'm gonna live through you with that one okay yeah i'm i'm jealous like that that's gonna be freaking crazy yeah i can't find the name but um i i like there are a couple of places around there that are like crazy. find any dinosaurs please let me know <laughs> please i would love to know if there's the fucking dinosaurs on that island <laughs> just eating eggs it's not children it's dinosaurs <laughs> Going back into dinosaurs, <laughs> we're still on dinosaurs. There was something I actually saw that was interesting. There's so many different, I guess, theories. Some people think that they were turned into caterpillars or something. I don't know. There's some weird shit. I don't know. There's some weird shit. I probably like misinterpreted that way wrong, but uh, <laughs> caterpillars. they just turn into caterpillars. They're dinosaurs. Um, oh, that'd be so cool, though. Dude, that would be pretty crazy. Oh, okay. So this one, it was that a display at Utah State University's prehistoric museum points out that aliens could not have wiped out the dinosaurs, not least of all because there is no evidence of aliens or their garbage in the fossil record. 
that hasn't stopped some more imaginative folks from suggestions. <laughs> this person's like so against aliens. I'm yeah, like, I'm calm like down. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, God, they're like, like roasting they're like aliens. Yeah. yeah, I'm like. The roasting aliens? Yeah, literally roasting aliens. Like, God damn. That's a good podcast title. <laughs> You're roasting aliens. Yo, like, <laughs> that fits. <laughs> That's not the only thing, like, roasted here. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh <my laughs> baked. Um, okay. But, okay, this person who hates aliens is says <laughs> that there was a program... <laughs> look at wait they said last year the basic cable program ancient aliens look who hurt you like oh. calm down um they so ancient aliens made an f episode to the idea borrowing misunderstandings and oh my god they're just like hating on it okay basically they think that aliens wiped out dinosaurs is the theory okay so I don't know, maybe like, cause I know, I believe that aliens kind of like help us and like are in contact with the government, govern, govern, govern government. Well, you can say my last name yeah, perfectly. I can say Montzingo. <laughs> like better than I can. You yeah, know? <laughs> way better. <laughs> you haven't been saying it your whole life for exactly. anything. That's <laughs> fine. But uh, what was I talking about? Aliens. <laughs> um, no, oh, and I had something to branch off with that. Yeah, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, we got it. It's so close. I have it. Oh, they think that aliens wiped out the dinosaurs. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think that aliens work with our government to, oh, no. to like help with our vegetation, with like our planet, mm. basically technology. I think that there's a lot of work there because there's a lot of random advancements in technology throughout history that made yeah. no sense, and they were just like science, and it's like, yeah, it's like, but who? But where did like, that come from like all NASA. of a sudden? Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, like, how did we all of a sudden go to the moon? I don't know. I probably sound dumb. But anyways, we're high, and this podcast is for open-minded people only. So if you're not open-minded, skedaddle out of here. You just don't need to be here. Open-minded people. Or let us open your mind. Yes, or that. Or, like, people who aren't quite open-minded, but they're like open to the idea of being open-minded. So wouldn't that be open-minded? Or they're only open-minded in closed spaces because they don't want anyone to know. <gasps> don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that anymore. That's just not a good thing. <laughs> oh my God. Oh God. Wait, what was I talking about? Uh, oh yeah, aliens working alongside the government. Yeah. <laughs> 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 guys we just like it's just not it but anyways it. i think we work with aliens i think we're in contact with them and yeah in well, technology hasn't, hasn't yeah it hasn't like didn't barack obama say something like he was gonna say something about aliens and then like didn't like trump say something about that like hasn't like yeah i think like presidents have like said things and the pentagon released the uss nimitz and yeah that. which no one is talking yeah, about yeah that's I've what seen i've all said of that. oh sorry it's because oh. covid all of a sudden came out of nowhere like or no it was covid and then they were like aliens too but there's covid to worry about mm, you yeah. know like they put it in the middle of something so worldwide that to right. cover it up yeah yeah it's like Guys, there are alien. The Pentagon confirmed there are unidentified flying objects. Wait, didn't they name it to UAPs in the aerial? Uh, aerial phenomenons. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Someone corrected me the other day, and I was like, "Oh, is that what people say now?" Oh, is it? I guess. What's the <laughs> I guess oh, they changed the it. Like how they changed STD to STI. You know, oh. they like changed UFOs to uaps uaps yeah unif unidentified aerial phenomena yeah. Un okay unidentified aerial phenomenon areola phenomena <laughs> yes way better <laughs> yeah i like it way better already <laughs> but do you you believe in aliens right i i go through phases okay. of it um like I, I sometimes i get really deep into thinking like okay if aliens exist but like this is our reality then other aliens like way in the past haven't progressed enough for there to be any hope for us to become like gods or something you yeah, know we're in a place okay. i already take this way too far no no, no it's interesting <laughs> i just immediately um but yeah i don't know so like i get into that mindset of like yeah. well maybe we are maybe we're past the point that other civilizations have 
or other worlds aliens have gotten like maybe you know yeah. like maybe like there's always this barrier or maybe there's always this thing or maybe not you know maybe like which i i think ultimately ultimately believe we don't know anything right and like right. really like we are probably working with aliens and but it's doing cool stuff. to hear like all the possibilities because like that's definitely a possibility it's just so crazy yeah. to think about you we can just go on about this like i feel like half of my podcast like aliens get brought up it's just yeah, the one they have thing to. yeah it's just the one thing that just gets brought up because it's just i don't know it's just so like it's there but it's like a lot of people are like no they're not they're not but then like with ghosts it's like the same thing right it's like it, yeah it's like the anything supernatural or above our understanding we're like oh uh -uh, no have you ever thought i don't know if i'm maybe the only person who's, who's thought of this um but you know I, i'm a christian um so you know i believe in jesus god and all that i'm sorry and all that stuff but like um i also am not totally um ruling out the fact that maybe like god is like the same as like an alien you know yeah. we're like like you another know. other being, like an other dimensional type. Right, and they like hyperspace the earth, you know? Yeah. It's like, yeah, well, we're like your gods, you know? Because right. like, you know, we're, we've are we done this, you know, or something? Right, yeah, um, yeah. You know, but then, you know... I think there's actually like beliefs, like a lot of... I think there's like a certain belief of like there's different alien species and different mm. ones of different vibrations that are like higher, kind of like angelic, like angels, oh. like a higher vibrational frequency and they depict or they, you know, put it with uh, aliens, angels. It's like, I don't know if anyone knows mm. what I'm talking about. I know it's a thing and like <laughs> indigo, like rainbow children, there's like star seeds. Rainbow there's, children. yeah, there's like people who believe that they um in a past life they're from like a different planet their their energy is from oh. a different star system or solar system actually i worked with the guy who who literally told me he's like yeah sometimes i feel like i'm not from here because sometimes like randomly my eyes blink the other way and i don't know if he was just fucking with me oh. but like he didn't seem like the kind of person who would you know and i have thought about this that to this day like he Whoa. this was a long time ago like i was in high school you know and it's some random dude that's like reptilians have you seen on like tv yes. they catch the reptilian yeah. eyes that are like and he kind of looked like a lizard oh too. he's a lizard <laughs> oh. so who knows but like man Dude, that shit trips me out. We're all gonna die and be like, we had it all wrong. I you know, know, we're gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> that <Yeah>. was nuts. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go into, um, cause we went all the way from dinosaurs to aliens. <laughs> Why does that always happen on this podcast? But I want to get into any paranormal experiences mm. that you have had that you've maybe questioned, you know, mm. like, like, have you ever been, like, skeptical of things and you need, like, I feel like it's, for me, it was, like, I needed, I understood that there was something there, but I needed more proof or validation. Yes, I have actually one that I thought about my whole life. Really? Yeah. Um, oh, let's hear it. So, when I was, like, eight or nine, um, my family and I would like we had a summer house in Idaho <laughs> so random <laughs> um, <laughs> Idaho that's where it's at Idaho Coeur d'Alene Idaho yeah beautiful there though wow. um and there was this old house that we would like rent um or we would stay in and I had to be on the top uh, floor with my brother and sister and my mom and dad would sleep on the futon on the first floor and so I would always get in trouble all the time like so guests would come over and she'd like go up to your room um and I'd go up to my room and there was one specific time where I remember um, being locked in there and it was like creepy, you know, it yeah. was like kind of like a, an A-frame kind of a house. Um, and the gate was like a, like a hatch kind of lock on the oh, other side. That's creepy. And it was like, you know, it like creaked. It was like, <laughs> like you know. Um, and How did it creak? ASMR. We do it again. God. Okay, that was beautiful. All right, keep going. Um, love it. Uh, and and one time specifically at night, like I was screaming because I was like, "Get me out!" And then all of a sudden, I felt like something had like rushed in the room. Like it was really strange. I was like, Ooh. I was like six, seven, eight, you know, like right. super young, and I actually like blacked out. Um, so all I remember was like the feeling of something like running at me, like to the point oh. where like. 
like I blacked out, you know? Um, and I remember the last thing I, the thing I remember after that is just like crying and screaming for my, my, my mom and dad. Whoa. Um, like, cause the carpet would like come out and <laughs> it was really rickety house. Yeah. And, um, I could like see them kind of from the top floor, you know, and I, I was like screaming, um, oh like crying, gosh. but That's, I have no idea. Do you but, think it was like a demon? To, like to this day, I'm like, that. so it was such a vivid thought for me it to almost, this day. It almost sounds like something was trying to like overcome you and caused you to black out. And then like maybe you were strong enough to push it back out. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I've had something similar happen, but it wasn't as intense as that. Mm. But it was like, I felt like I was almost being possessed. I kept blacking out and I kept, it's like I kept pushing something out of me. Like a poop. <laughs> you know, like it was just like pushing it out. I'm so dumb. Okay. Oh, but like that's, you know, that's something that impacts you in something where you're just like, I can't even explain what just happened because I don't understand. Like I, my mind can't process what just happened. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And in my, and in my case, like, I, I don't know. I don't remember if I blacked out on the day. Um, but I just rem I just know that I don't remember now. So I'm wondering, like, if you did, if I did, and something happened, and like time had passed, and like I could recall that one day, whoa, and like what that might be. That's you know? trippy. Um, Oof, that's like. Have you had like anything? I know you've seen things from the Cecil. Has anything like come into your home, like from the Cecil? You think? Oh, um, or is your apartment building haunted? Like, cause you think of the Cecil and then you think, what about the buildings around it? Right. You know, like mine's older. in the perimeter, cause ghosts can travel. Some may be stuck at the Cecil, but some are, they can travel, you mm. know? So it's like, would they come over to you because you're giving the Cecil hotel this energy, you know, like you're mm, constantly right. like, you know, like it's part of a lot of your content too. Like you're right. It's like, I feel like you have some sort of like, do you have like a connection with it? Do you feel? Just because I feel like I have that with any like, like haunted thing, you know? Yeah, I'm like, that's yeah. my thing now. Right. Like, You're just like, it's just it's like some interest. sort of, yeah, it's an interest. Yeah. And it's something like if you moved away, you'd, I feel like you'd kind of be like, oh. Yeah, I would. I, I think I'd have to move somewhere like, you know, you're living above the catacombs. You know? Right, right, yeah. So I'd, it'd have to be that. Somewhere cool like that. It's inter It keeps it interesting, you know? Exactly. And it's like, okay, I'm still my element. We did have, so I did go over, go, goat. I goated over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ba. The goat. Or wait, what, what noise does the goat make? Ba. Ba. <laughs> ba is that a sheep? Ba. What does it make? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, why don't we know this? <laughs> wait, what did... It's like preschool. Nah. You press the button. You oh. press the button. You know. And <laughs> wait, the goat goes. Wait, that's like a sheep. I don't know. Oh, this is bad. But this is like embarrassing. Like I don't know what kind of. I don't. <laughs> so. If you guys did not see on my YouTube channel, by the way, my YouTube channel is K-E-L-S-I-D-A-V-I-E-S, -E -E Kelsey Davies, and go check out Pete's channel, 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 channel? Channel. It's a channel. Pete's channel. <laughs> it's Pete Montzingo, um, and then Pete 5 West if it's on Instagram. Yes, which... and that's P-E-E-T-M-O-N-T. Z -I -N -G -O. Z -I -N -G -O. Wow. Look yeah. Up. Woo. We did a spelling bee on here before really. It was really difficult to do a spelling bee while stoned. <laughs> it was <laughs> It was like. For real. It was a little bit difficult. <laughs> I did pretty good though. I did all right. Like I kind of envisioned the letters and like, you know, <laughs> I was like tapped into my gifts. To <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Can you do that though? Can you just like tap into a gift? Yeah. Yeah. Really? If I really want, yeah. It's kind of like, I don't mean to sometimes. Like, I'll tap into, like, my psychic gift or I'll tap into, like, I don't know, when I'm, like, helping someone, like, it just comes out. It's just, like, mm. things I say and things I see. I just, like, I'll have to give you a reading sometime. Like, oh, I don't. experience it. I, I'm, I, okay. Yeah, I've never done it, so I'm just nervous. It's, it's but. not scary. Oh, it's not? Okay. No. <laughs> okay. It's always, it honestly is, I've never had a bad reading for someone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll let you know how it That's goes. Because <laughs> I've heard horror stories of, you know, someone's like, 
you're in grave danger and then like oh, no. their house burns down. I'm just like, I I have not had that. I'm no, so no, no. Scared. I don't see any of that with you. Oh, God. No, <laughs> I would not. Ew, that's like creepy. I guess like I have had bad things. I have, but it was like really intense. Like we were on a motorbike and like I knew like our friends was going to crash and then she crashed. Like it was like, oh. we just talked about that on the last podcast with my dad. Um, but yeah, I've had bad ones, but like not when doing readings for people. Usually they. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. We'll do it. Y- okay. You'll be okay. okay. Pizza, like, she's gonna. <laughs> He's so scared. Like, I don't know why, too, because it's like part of my thing. Like, it's part of my niche, you know? Yeah. It's like, why don't I know what I'm talking about yet? You know? You'll like, you'll like it. You'll be like, okay, you know, this is cool. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty cool, guys. Like, you know. She just is. kidding. <laughs> no, you are. You're pretty cool. Oh, thank you. I'm Pete. <laughs> I'm Pete uh, checked off, verified. Pete verified right there. Yay. <laughs> All right. I f- I'm like been trying to figure out what we're talking about for the last like five minutes. Oh, my gay. Oh, my gay. I said, oh, my, oh gay. my gay. Oh, my gay. Oh my gay. I'm a little gay. Cool. Pansexual. <laughs> Pansexual. Just a little bit gay. <laughs> oh, my gay. Okay. Anyways. Um, so I went to Pete's apartment. Oh, right. <laughs> and we actually found out that Pete did have some sort of attachment or like this entity lingering with him. We believe, you believe it was from the Waverly Hills. Was it that place or? I don't know because there are always different things everywhere I go. Like, you know, yeah. I told you like my footage was lost in one place. Right. So it could have been there, you know, because that happened when I came home. Right. Or like, yeah, I got scratched at Waverly. You know, right, so right. It definitely so, could have been that. Yeah, it was like some sort of entity that was very sneaky. It hid itself pretty good for a while. And then it started, I don't know, it started wanting to come out. And I saged the house and everything or the apartment. Does mm-hmm. it feel okay still? Or It does. It does. It does. And my roommate just moved out. So like last week and she just saged it with her uh, dragon. Yeah, red dragon blood sage. Yeah. So and I gave perfect. you some to keep just in case. I've used so it. I was like, good, good. I was like, you live across from the sea, so take some sage, like red dragon blood She's like, sage. Like, no, you need this. Yeah, I was like, here you go. Like, I was like, use it. You know, there's something here. But especially living across from somewhere with so much dark history, it's like you don't want it to overcome you and your energy. So that really, really helps. But I'm glad that it's like feeling better now. It does. You know, sometimes I still feel like I'm being like. I mean, and maybe this in my head, but sometimes I feel like I'm being watched, you know? Right. I mean, you live across. From yeah. Um, <laughs> but usually it's okay in yeah, the daytime, yeah. especially. Yeah. It hasn't been like bad. Like sometimes if you have like a weird, a weird, weird attachment, I can't speak. Sometimes if you have a weird attachment, then you get like a depressed and you'll get anxious and you'll have really bad things happen and bad just really weirdly bad things like i've had instances where my plane caught on fire and then i got this illness that was so bad yes airplane yes you were in the air and it caught on fire caught on fire and i knew it was gonna happen beforehand it was a lot but when was this Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I've explained this. I feel bad because I always explain things. Oh, you can tell me after then if they already know. No, no, no. It's okay. I'm like, there might be some people who don't remember. But review of what happened. So I was on the plane going to Colorado to visit my family. And I believe that I had some sort of like negative attachment or hex on me put on by someone. Um, I didn't believe in hexes until like I literally i had a candle and i wrote the person's name on the candle who i thought hexed me and the candle was white it turned black and it was the weirdest thing i've ever seen like i was shaking i was like what the hell and then like later on i think i did that like a year before this happened because i think that the person did it again and i felt like i had a weird attachment so when i was on the plane I had this premonition of the plane catching on fire and but it was like more graphic it was like my mom and sister's skin was coming off like it was like really like they had been on fire it was really graphic so I was having like I was panicking so I like took a nap you know because I thought it was my anxiety I I didn't know it was a some sort of premonition and then I noticed Lola her spirit was behind me on the plane and she was basically letting me know like I was gonna be okay like she was just letting me know like you're gonna be fine you know like kind of like helping me through it and kind of i think maybe she 
had me see something. I don't know if she had anything to do with the premonition. I still don't know. But then um, I was talking to my sister about this and my sister was like, the weirdest thing is like, I felt something weird on that plane too. I felt like something bad was going to happen. Like, and she, she, I mean, she definitely has gifts, but she's not like open. She doesn't like them. Like me and her so will see. So that strong for her though? Yeah, me and her will see the same spirits and stuff and explain oh. them the same like stuff like that but she like blocks it out and she's like i had really bad anxiety and stuff and then all of a sudden the captain comes on the speaker and he goes we have to emergency land the engine has caught a flame um you know so we were like preparing whatever so we went back uh we turned around made it back to the airport and we landed and all the fire trucks were waiting for our plane we couldn't even go to the gate um, so the fire trucks were all waiting for us. Like it was intense and it was scary. Was everyone freaking out on the plane? Everyone was fine. Like everyone was okay. It wow. Was, yeah, That's everyone bad. was pretty calm, honestly. Like I was surprised, you know. But we we landed and um, yeah, that was really it's scary. Like, Join the Mile High Club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> on fire. Let's let's quick, go. let's go before we before we <laughs> land. <laughs> Don't miss this opportunity, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's do it, bro. <laughs> Why are we bros? Why are we talking like that? <laughs> I don't know, but it's hilarious. We're dumb. And I'm here for it. This is what happens when two Earth signs come together. <laughs> oh, that's right. Taurus here. Taurus and Virgo, guys. We're 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 interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but then <laughs> after that, I was going to the Stanley Hotel to film. And I got insanely sick before I went and I sucked it up. I was like, come on, I got to go film there, you know, and like I was puking every 20 minutes. I've never been that sick. I almost went to the hospital, like really bad stuff that whole trip. And then there was this night where like all my friends like in this group, we all like it was just this weird situation and they were all having like a really hard night. We were all crying the same night, having a really hard time and then. Uh, I did this cleanse and stuff, and then, like, after that, everything was okay. But I believe I had, like, some sort of weird... I was so severely depressed. It was just, like, it was intense. Wow. Yeah, so, I'll, like, I've How been through some How many people do you shit. think, like, it's get hexed? You know, A lot. Like... I think that there's some people out there who are envious and who will wish bad on people and... But I feel like dark energy, if you have enough like positive energy and you protect yourself with whatever way you do, you know, with um, whatever you believe in, I always think the intent is to protect, you Mm. know, and that's the energy you're putting out there. So I feel like if you are protecting yourself, then, you know, it's it could like, I don't know, break away from people doing that and hexing and. Gotcha. Stuff like that. Don't hex, guys. It I gives don't. bad karma. It's just not a good thing. Like, most people who hex others get bad karma on themselves. It's just not... Don't do it. Yeah. Come on, guys. Don't mess with people's lives. Yeah. There's some shitty people out there, but just leave them. I mean, unless they're, like, horrible murderer person or something. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> my aunt and uncle lived in Thailand for a long time, and they said... Oh, in... I just went to Thailand. Oh, you did? Yeah. Whoa. That's why I predicted the bike crashing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Crazy I, energy there. I'm getting anxiety just thinking about it. <sighs> Especially because I'm about to go, like, overseas. <laughs> oh, no, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Yes, no, yeah. Um... Uh, but yeah, when they were in Thailand, they were there for like four or five years because they were like um, missionaries, actually. Um, and so they were telling me that there's just a lot of like voodoo, like yes, dark magic there's there a lot in there. the forest or something. Everywhere. Um, it's oh, like everywhere? Thailand has a different energy. About oh, it does? It. Yeah. Okay. You might feel it. I don't know. Like I, I feel energy wherever I go, different like hmm. regions and different states. There's always a different energy for me. Gotcha. Which is oh, weird. Yeah. Thailand was like old energy, like ancient before humans were even here energy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's so interesting. Oh, I have to pay attention to this. Oh, I, have to, I have to figure out how to open my third eye. You got this. I got this. Let me start. <laughs> Touch your pineal gland. Okay. Five, six, P seven, is opening. Eight. Yeah, it's open. It's just it's it so high forms. I am tall. What that would you do me. if all of a sudden, like, like, a, like an aura just like went <gasps> like around you? Dude, yeah, I would. I'd be like shook. Like, like Bella shook. Swan style in the last yeah. breaking 
Breaking, was uh, it breaking, breaking Dawn. Dawn. I almost said Breaking Bad. I almost said Breaking <laughs> Free. <laughs> breaking Free. We're so red. Oh, no. Flying. <laughs> There's a oh, star in heaven that we, we can't can reach. reach. Oh, even if, if we're trying. So we're breaking free. Yeah, you sing too. Oh, we're breaking free. Let's make a song. Oh, right now. Oh, we just do all high school musical covers. <laughs> Go into like perfect harmony. Yes. Guys, hey. if we should do a high school musical cover, comment below. Let us know what you want to see. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> all right. Okay. I wanted to play a game. Oh, okay. Are you ready for a game? Yes. I think we're so in the goofy fun. mood. All right. You are in the showers. This is moral dilemma, by the way. I'm not just like making this up. Okay. <laughs> these oh, are weird morals. these are weird it's your morals you know you're testing your morals it's not good you are in the showers at a swimming pool and an old man stands next to you you notice he has pulled his trunks up too far and a testicle is hanging out of the bottom <laughs> do you a tell him before he walks into the main pool area or b not say anything and let him face the embarrassment of swimming with a nut out <laughs> Definitely a hundred percent B. Would you? Well, just for a second, and then I then I would tell him. <laughs> for one second, I feel like, oh God, I'd be nervous to tell him because, like, I wouldn't want him to think I'm like flirting Look or it, something. Like yeah. you're nuts hanging out. Well, for you, I think it's different for like girls, you know. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Right. But um, <sighs> he might think I'm flirting or something. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Maybe B. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought you were judging me. No, no. I'm like, wait a minute. Like, that would be kind of awkward. Like, it would be really awkward. I would just like, oh, shit. Maybe he'll notice his left testicle is hanging out. I don't know if it was the left one. I just made that up. Okay. Usually, yeah, usually. Yeah. Was, <laughs> an evil wizard corners you in an alley and gives you an absurd choice. Do you, A, have the hair on your head switched with your pubic hair? Or B, have your genitals switched with your ears. Sounds now give you erotic pleasure. <laughs> I don't remember picking this card, to be honest, but this it's kind of funny. <laughs> I think I have to go with B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sounds now. I mean, that kind of sounds fun. Like if. <laughs> I mean, because, yeah. Like, right? I wouldn't, like, I don't know. I feel like. But like, is it like, like actually my genitals, you know, or yeah. is it like just the pleasure, like sound, it's just, just sound gets you pleasure, you know? Right. I don't know what it is. What would you guys choose? This is a weird card. This like, I I'm not making these up. These are just on the moral dilemma cards. Okay. All right. Your dog <laughs> saved you from perishing in a fire last year. Now he has a broken back. Treatment costs $10,000. Do you A, pay for the vet bills, or B, put the dog down humanely? Well, I wouldn't have a choice. It, my mom would intervene and pay anything needed for any animal ever. So Yes. Oh, we love an animal lover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would definitely i would sell like a hundred paintings to put that you know like i to pay for the vet bills totally like i i feel like i would get like another job literally to pay for that dog yeah i i'm such an animal lover also <laughs> yeah same and also like you can't live the rest of your life knowing that you literally yeah, your dog, you right know? but then it's like if you really can't pay the bills but like i would find a way there's a way yeah. if there's a will there is a way and you can do it yeah you can do it put your back into it <laughs> <laughs> not your broken back yeah no no like i think it's if it's like not broken you can put your back right into it it's okay okay now <laughs> Since you Wait, went, can I pause for a second yeah, and yeah. say something? Because yes. I feel like I need to, I need to say this, and I yes. probably shouldn't. But um, I broke my dog's back. What do you mean? So you know, being raised in a family of little people, we had a little dog, and um, I thought. Um, so you really he, felt that card? Because he, my dog was a wiener dog, and um, oh, no. I was like, 
oh, like, you know, I'm not going to break him because no. I don't see myself as different. And so oh, sadness no. back and bro he ended up being fine. He lived 18 years, actually. Oh, so wow. he's totally fine. Did he just have a little wheelchair? Or? No, um, they somehow fixed everything. Like they oh, fixed it. Like, okay. yeah. Um, so you paid the vet bill. Yeah, so we paid you the did vet it. bill. Yeah. So yeah, I guess. Yeah. Wow. I guess Moral we dilemma did. in real life. Well, my, my mom paid. Kidding. Yeah. So like, you it really have, was my answer. I'm like, you didn't have those two options. You were just like, real, we're going to fix a dog. Like, yeah. At, at that age, I was like, bye. <laughs> oh, why, no, why, is, like, why is he whimpering? Oh, you know? no. Yeah. Aw, <laughs> I feel like wiener dogs break their backs all the time, too. Yeah, they do. That's just how hard. That's. It's not your fault. That, so it's that's what I tell myself fault, to live. Pete, it's not your fault. You need to hear it. Hear it here first. I do. On intoxicated. Luna says it's not your fault. Oh, she says it's not your fault. What okay. What does Lola say? Oh, she's a good I think she says it's not your fault. Okay. I just, I feel it. I don't know if she's here, her. but I just, I feel it. <laughs> we stand Lola. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we're going to go into, since you went to a mental um, asylum, or is that what it's called? A mentalist? An in insane asylum. Insane asylum. Insane asylum. Um, and to explore, I didn't get admitted. Right, so. right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, I should have. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have <laughs> prefaced that. Um, you went to a old, like, abandoned insane asylum. Correct. And how was that? I haven't been... You yeah, have to. Before. Oh. Wait, which one are we talking about? Because I've been to a couple. We're talking have about you? the one at Waverly Hills? Or yes, Waverly okay. Hills. So this was a place where a lot of people were sent because they had TB when there was an outbreak in Kentucky. Oh. And so there were hundreds of people um, who were there. And it was only over the course of like 10 years. But there were like so many deaths. People would have to be wheeled. The corpses would be wheeled underground. It was called um, a body chute. On like wheelbarrows? Mm -hmm. And that's where they would get shipments, but they didn't want to scare the patients. Right, So right. they had to wheel them where they didn't see. But also these patients had to survive there. There, there being like really strange operations done on them. So you can go into like the room where you can like see, I mean, it looks like American Horror Story. You know? Oh my gosh, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say is like American Horror Story Coven based, wait, no, no, not Coven. I think it was Asylum. Yeah, American Horror Story Asylum. It was season two. Was that based off of that one? Oh, I don't know. Because I just the know underground Cecil. tunnels and like, you know what I mean? We, like have to, we have to check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering if like, because I know that they based Hotel off of Hotel Cecil. Yeah. And they based a lot of things off of like, uh, even the American Horror Story Murder House. That place is really haunted. I did an investigation inside of it. In the, oh, the house they filmed in? Yeah, I, I did a in the American Horror Story Murder House. Yeah, yeah. I did a paranormal investigation inside. That was pretty dope, guys. You should check that out. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty cool. I was like fangirling really hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> like a demon comes up, you're like, go oh, wait for a second. Yeah, I was like, hold on. I know this from the show. <laughs> yeah, I was like, he was there. It was Tate, right? Tate. I don't remember. Tate, I didn't watch that. I think it was Tate. He was sitting on that couch and I was like, so we are going to go into um, what they would do at insane asylums back in the day. And like, mm. this could go into why that one's so haunted too, right. because of the horrible treatments they would do for people, even with like small things like, well, not small, but anxiety, depression, um, ADD, even like they would put people in these mental asylums for issues like that and do lobotomies on them take yeah. pieces of their brain out in order to cure them and even if they were like homosexual they would put them in there to fix them it was just really awful really sad uh crazy things they would do and no wonder there were like lost spirits and souls stuck in there right. because that's so traumatizing just yeah. being in that like what was the energy like in in there well they were different for sure the one the Waverly Hills one with the TB that was like aggressive. Like, wow. I, and I was hearing stories of like this girl who I think I told you this, right. Where she like, she felt possessed on like the second floor. And so, so yeah. she like almost threw herself off the balcony oh. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. You did tell me about that. Mm -hmm. That's scary. Especially when they affect us to the point where we could be in danger. That's yeah. when it gets scary. Yeah. It's like, that's a really intense spirit or whatever demon yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And like for me, one like actually, some, or I don't know if one did, but like 
the air, I guess, scratched me or like the air know, scratched me because like I have this on, you know, like I got like physically, yeah, and and then it, I don't know what what it was. I didn't hit my side on anything or my back on anything, right. you know. It's just unexplainable. Yeah, and like as we were filming, like things like there's this one specific time where we were doing a ghost box mm-hmm. and the lights and all the separate cameras all shut off at the same time. It wasn't all powered by one generator. It was like phones. It was like a light, like a battery operated light. Like everything just stopped that at is the same entire, time. That's some energy. Right when he had said, um, do you want us to leave? Whoa. Yeah. Was that like a sign? Like, yeah. Or you think? Um, yeah, we all needed to like take a minute. We only had an hour left and we had to still like film, you know, you know how that goes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So they're like going to kick us out, you know? <laughs> right, right. And it's it like, like you get all anxious. You're like, oh. Yeah, it's like hopefully the ghost doesn't mind if we I just know. like do one more quick thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we love like, you. Apologize. We love you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's like stressful being in there, and especially with all that I energy. Say it's stressful being, it was stressful being a ghost. It was so stressful being a ghost. Like I know, <laughs> I'm totally a ghost. Oh I get God. it. That'd be the best, like, reveal. If, like this whole time you were just I, the whole time I'm literally a ghost. Like, could you imagine? Like, I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> I would be on the daily news. I would, you know, I would be all over, man. Like as the ghost, guys, we should do that. Let's break the internet, guys. Say I'm a no. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm, now, I'm now my like mind my parents are like, um, why are you a ghost? <laughs> did she die? Yeah, did you die? Are you okay? <laughs> why are you a ghost? <laughs> why are you a ghost? <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna go into the in- inhumane treatment of the mentally ill throughout history. Right. So, um. Moral treatment. Okay, so I guess in the 18th century, some believe that mental illness was a moral issue that could be treated through humane care in instilling moral discipline. Strategies included hospitalization, isolation, which has proven not to help any mental illness. Being Mm. isolated, that's just not the way to go. Right. Um, Unless you're, you know, a danger to everyone, then yeah, but... Uh, and discussion about an individual's wrong beliefs. So a lot of it went into religion, which is kind of sad that a lot of uh, different religions would, you know, kind of force it on people. And like, I don't know, I'm open to every religion. You know, I'm super open. I love learning about different religions and uh, different things people believe in. I think it's so beautiful that we all have these beliefs and these higher beings that we look up to. And, you know, like... It's just weird that people force it on people. No, it's this. It's like, but it could be this too. No, it's this. It's just so wrong how people right. force it on people. And right. it's just weird that they would use that as a tactic to help people who were mentally ill. But it's like, wouldn't that make them a little bit more distressed? Like, or more, I don't right. know. It's just kind of weird that they would do that. And then they would do lobotomies, mm. which... Have you? Oh, yeah. You watched like American Horror Story. They would like do crazy things. A lot of the things they did in American Horror Story are actual treatments they would give patients. Like, really? I think most of them were actual things they would do, like to, you know, in the hot bath where they had to sit in there, like oh, strapped right. into this really yeah. hot, burning bath just for punishment. It was just so sad what they would do. I mean, I think even a lot of these shows do that too. Because, like, I do X-Files binges. I don't know if you ever watch X-Files. X-Files? It's like, I haven't. It's, oh, my God. Okay. I'll, Kelsey, I'll this will be your favorite show. Is I'm it? telling you. Oh, gosh. You. I'm ready. Yeah, it's so I good. This. <laughs> um, but some of, like, not all of them, but some of those shows are based on, like, true events as well that, like, don't make sense, you know? Right, or, right. Um, and, you know, where, like, it's an, it's at an insane asylum, and it, it's just like, why did they do that, you know? Yeah. That, like, but it's like with modern-day science now, we understand back then they were just kind of doing this will work, you know, like, right. let's nail this. Like, I know they would do this thing where they would nail something in the back of their eye, like to a point to like poke something in the brain. I don't know. They would do this weird oh, procedure. For personality shift. Or Is something. that what it was? It was like Maybe. for bipolar and yeah. like schizophrenia. I think they thought it would treat it or something. Yeah. Oh, just like really messed up things. I think that they were like, were they awake during it? I could be wrong on that. Anesthesia, 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 uh, came out actually like 
way longer ago than we think. Last I researched, did I, it? Yeah. So I That's think good. it's been around for a while. Hopefully um, they were like not mobile, you know, like awake. That would be really traumatizing. I feel like we just think of them as awake though, you know? Yeah. Like in all the horror movies, you see them do like these like torturous things while people are awake. And I just, yeah. So and scary. I know for like Waverly Hills, like they did these things to them, even though they knew they only had a 3% like survival rate. I'm like, why do you keep going? Yeah, they you would know? experiment on patients because they thought they were a lost cause. So they would experiment on oh, them that's for why. science and like to learn more, which was really fucked up because they weren't in the right mind to right. even like say, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah. You know, it was just again, it was just horrible, horrible treatment. Um, they would. Yeah, this is wait, trephination holes in your head. So they would open a hole in the skull using an auger, A-U-G-E-R. I don't know what that is bore and even a saw by some estimates that this treatment began 7,000 years ago that's so long is that before anesthesia because like probably. god damn yeah probably imagine Ow. someone sawing your head ow <laughs> you just hear pete in the other room ow <laughs> ow they're sawing my head <laughs> ow <laughs> that hurt don't do that it says, although no diagnostic manual exists from that time, experts guess that this procedure to remove a small section of skull might have been aimed at relieving headaches. So they would do this for headaches. You got a headache? We don't got Advil, but we're going to fucking That's cut a insane. hole in your head. <laughs> Mental illness or presumed demonic possession. Why would they open the skull for that? To let it out? I don't know. I mean, I we guess... have other holes that we I... can let out. <laughs> I, know. I don't know why they have to create one in the head. You know? I... Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> they just really wanted to open people's heads, I guess. They're like, like, oh, he's in his head. That's probably what it is, actually. <gasps> yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, they were letting it out of his head. But you have your mouth and your nose and your ears. Oh, yeah. Duh. I forgot <laughs> about those holes. <laughs> <We> got... <laughs> I was thinking about the other holes. <laughs> A demon just comes out of your butthole. You're, like, sitting on the toilet. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> You're like, no, I don't want it. <laughs> Get out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Though, wait, I keep rereading re the same. Nowadays, oh <laughs> I'm like literally crying. <laughs> oh Nowadays, God. a small hole may be made. Wait, they still do it? Nowadays, a small hole may be made in the skull to treat bleeding between the inside of the skull and the surface of the brain. Okay, that makes well, that's sense. Medical. That's yeah. like actually medical. Yeah, like. that that actually makes sense. But the rest is just like, what the fuck? Oh, I guess they would use mystic rituals, exorcism, and prayer for mental, yeah, for people with schizophrenia, mood swings, mental illness. Like they thought it was a sign of demonic possession back wow. in the day. Oh. <laughs> I'm not in possession. Cat, I'm getting my possessed. Cat, my cat literally jumped up and scared the shit out of him. <laughs> so... I didn't even know he was here. I didn't even know he was there. Okay. Then... <laughs> that was Tito. Oh, Tito. Tito, why did you like did that on purpose? He just walked away. <laughs> well, that's great. Yeah, a demonic possession. Um, but that's so weird, like, that they just... It's interesting that back then in cultures, they would always lead to, that's possession, demonic possession. But nowadays, people are like, no, that doesn't exist, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Like, it's weird how much it has changed over time. Well, they even think that with, like, people who are little people. Really? Yeah. Like, you know, because a lot of people back in the older, like, cultures in, like, Hawaii and stuff, they were the... Uh, Manahinis or something okay. and there were these little little people who would come and like kill you or something if, what? if you like yeah like step foot on their land or something and like every or like leprechauns you know they're in different cultures okay, right right you know and leprechauns are actually known to have been evil in like the legend really mm -hmm. um, that's so, so interesting so they associate little people with with all well, these... I, I well, either they like actually people. were beings, you know, like you know, maybe yeah. they did exist. Who knows? Yeah, but like, yeah. and or they would think that you know that's who they were, and it makes me wonder because like even with the the Salem witch trials and stuff, mm -hmm. like they would burn little people at the stake as well because they thought they were witches. What the so fuck? there have been a lot, and actually, <laughs> my mom had um, experimental treatment because they thought that she should have been growing and she shouldn't 
like been a little person. Um, and so they like literally like while she was awake would do things with their legs and like it twisted her and like, like while she was awake and like, yeah, like, so what? it's way more recent than you think too, like in wow. our modern day. That's, um, that's so bizarre. It's like when people don't understand something or something's different, yeah. then they're like, okay, we need to fix it. Like, it's just, it, yeah. some things are just meant to be. It's just like, yes. it's so exactly. weird how people try to adjust things that are just the you can't don't do that just right leave it as is like it right unless there's like a you know like an actual m medical reason yeah, if you're a doctor you know like do your thing but even it's... some doctors like might not know and they like you know will be like oh let's see True. so it's like for little people at least not to keep right. on like that but like right, uh right. they um you know they have to usually stick with the the doctors that worked on little people before otherwise right there'll be more margin of error with wow. others yeah. i didn't even think about that too that's like doctors too it's that's crazy Ugh. i know there are some weird doctors out there yeah. who are especially back back in stuff. the day like god damn there were physical therapies ice and restraints so they would literally restrain them put them in ice water baths oh my god um in isolation so they would strap them up stick them in this ice cold water and make them sit there probably getting like hypothermia um just for mental and physical illness like what i just wonder what they define as mental illness is it someone who has like clear signs of schizophrenia you know what i mean back like, then it was like anxiety depression anxiety? yeah even like depression yeah like tiny things uh, being a uh, gay being that's why it's been so taboo yeah lately. like even like people with psychic medium gifts they were considered like witches or that it was a mental illness so then it's just weird because the cia has like millions of documents on psychics and mediums do they really yes they've used them for wars and stuff to do remote viewing and to spy and like on the Soviets, there's all these recorded documents that they've used for psychics oh, and mediums, and people don't know about this. So they go jump, they jump to, oh, it's not real. It's literally the government literally has has things on ESP remote viewing. They have like there's How all do you these find documents this? online. It's right there. It's, See, it's why all people, online. Why don't people look? Like, like because I'm people so are confused. so closed-minded that they don't even they don't even look. Yeah, they're so stuck in the, you know, in the rut, you know, which mm -hmm. I we all get stuck in for right, sure. Right, right. But it's just like, you know, it's like they get oh. really stuck. And yeah. I'm like, come on, like it's right there. Even you know? yeah. even UFOs or UA UAPs, right? UAPs. Oh yeah. We learned that today. We did. <laughs> even with UAPs, it's like some people still no. It's like the Pentagon said, yeah, UAPs. No, 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 no. It's like some people, don't, they still won't. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. I think it's like a weird denial type thing for yeah. some people. I well, don't know. Well, it's what they know. And I feel like a lot of times it's sometimes it's older scary. people. Yeah, yeah. It's like, scary. I told my grandma like a couple months ago, I was like, and she's 83. <laughs> and she's kind of open-minded, but yeah, she's yeah. definitely like kind of stuck in her ways with stuff. And I'm right. like, grandma, have you ever thought if life was a simulation? And she goes, Peter. <laughs> Use my real name. Oh, Peter. I thought you were smarter than that. And I was like, Wait, so you absolutely know that life isn't a simulation? Tell me how you know this. Right, like, right. Goes both ways, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> goes both ways. Come on, Grandma. And then she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> then they listen to you. They're like, oh, you're so cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have some cookies. <laughs> Have some cookies. Some cookies and milk. <laughs> and then there is the insulin coma therapy rewiring the brain. So they would give patients insulin shock therapy treatment which caused a coma condition in the patient and they would do this by creating a low blood sugar coma basically putting them in comas and we will get into this in the next episode of intoxicated oh, oh thank you guys so much for watching and or listening and thank you pete for coming on the podcast oh my gosh thank Ooh, you I, I was so excited yay i'm glad we always have a good time on this podcast it's always just good energy and chill vibes you know just like be you be yourself and be woke guys that's important <laughs> wake up 
wake the fuck up and get high a little bit if you're of age of course and it's if it's legal in your your country or state (laughs) (laughs) here's a number the disclaimer the disclaimer but um thank you and uh if oh my god i can't even think okay pete shout out where people can follow you where people can find you and your book name one more time okay um so pete monsingo and it's p-e-e-t like the coffee and um I'm everywhere, Instagram, and where else is there? Oh, YouTube, YouTube. and TikTok. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of places where. <laughs> um, I feel you. Yeah, uh, and then my book is called Little Imperfections, and it will be out very soon, next couple months. But you don't have to buy it, you don't have to follow me, but just there's the info. Yeah, there's the info. It's coming, guys, so stay tuned for that. You guys can uh, watch this podcast live if you would like to if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Pandora or wherever you're listening to this podcast you can always go to YouTube which is K-E-L-S-I D-A-V-I-E-S and then my TikTok Instagram Twitter K-E-L-S-I-I D-A-V-I-E-S-S if you're watching this on YouTube make sure you guys are subscribed also hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I post and I will catch you guys in the next episode stay woke everyone <laughs>